Hi, I'm Miranda, and the book now I'm reading is called Pride and Prejudice. It's written by Jane Austen. My favorite part of the book is the confrontation between Elizabeth and Lady Catherine. When Lady Catherine have heard the rumor that Darcy is going to engage with Elizabeth, she asks Elizabeth to leave as she wants her daughters to marry Darcy. The confrontation between Dar between Elizabeth and Lady Catherine shows Elizabeth's personality, which is brave, strong, and uh, and assertive. I feel a strong emotion to Elizabeth's personality because I think she's smart, brave, and she knows what she wants. I know that at her time, most of the move, most of the women, seen things, marriage is the primary things in their life. But Elizabeth refused to marry Mr. Collins just because he has a great income. She insists to marriage to a man she really likes. I think every girl should learn from her because girls should have, should have a sense of self-confidence, self-reliance, and self-improvement towards themselves and their futures. Um, there's one thesis I can come up with in this book that is James Austin's Pride and Prejudice illustrates many kinds of marriage, but the reader is left with the impression that marriage of love and suitability are the kinds of marriage to be wished for. I have found several examples to prove the thesis. For the first example, miss the marriage between Miss and Mr. Bennett is not based on love. Their marriage is based on f physical attraction. So Mr. Bennett is always feel sh all, is always mocking of her of his wife because he thinks that Mrs. Bennett is ignorant. For the second example, I know that the marriage between Mr. Collins and Mrs. Col Mrs. and Mr. Collins is not based on love either. Their marriage is based on convenience. So they do not like each other. Mrs. Collins even wish wish that her husband can stay away from her. However, the marriage between Elizabeth and Darcy is really based on love. At the first impression, they do not like each other because of pride and prejudice. But when Mr. Darcy figure, find out that she, he starts to love Elizabeth, he even prepared to sacrifice his status and reputation to marriage, marriage her. And for Elizabeth, when she realized the truth of Darcy, she chose to she chose to admit that she she is incorrect at first to prejudice Mr. Darcy. Therefore, they care about each other and their marriage is
based on love. These examples prove that first. These examples prove that first impressions are not always correct, and only the marriage we love can be last forever. <laughs>